I found out my husband and dearest friend were having an affair. My ex-husband and I met when our best friends married each other. He was the best man, and I was the maid of honor. After a couple of years we all lived in the same community and had our four children in the same time frame. We hired my friend, let's call her Hobag, to be our attorney for our business when we thought about selling franchises. Hobag and my ex, let's call him Dog, spent lots of late nights working out the kinks in contracts. And more. One July they had to go to NY for a week to interview prospective franchisees. Her ex-husband called me to say he'd hired a detective who followed them and saw them all lovey-dovey, and that they only had one hotel room. Well, since it was July and sizzling, her front right minivan window was open about two. I took it upon myself to puree a few raw shrimp with chicken broth and strain the solids out. Then I fed a long tube down to her rear passenger carpet and under the seat as best I could. I didn't choose the front seat because it had removable mats. I then slowly funneled about one two cup of my potion down the tube. That week it was over 90 degrees every day. It was ghastly. A triumph her husband and I didn't let on that we knew about their affair until we'd each had consultations with every good lawyer in our city and had our financial ducks in a row. Petty, effective revenge I don't regret. That's hilarious a dog and hoe bag in a relationship now? Lovely work. The petty revenge gods smile upon thee. Those names you came up with are priceless. Hobag sounds delightful. Nothing like the smell of rotting shrimp I'm July. We need to rest of the story. What happened with the reveal, reactions and where are they now? That seeing every good attorney was a great move. For that don't know, getting a consult with a lawyer precludes them from being hired by the other party. I guess it could violate attorney-client privilege because said lawyer could know specific details. I love this please give updates. Also, are you and her husband now officially best friends? I need all the gossip. For those who don't know how delightfully devious OP was, we'd each had consultations with every good lawyer in our city means that those lawyers could not represent Hobag or Dog. It would be a conflict since they had already consulted the other side. What happened to Hobag and Dog? Did they stay together? What was their reaction to getting caught? GIF GIFI XT9 DPC 006 LUV 4 QCAM Perfect score, 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 perfect score. I think you should have done it to Dog's car too. I first read Hobag and thinking, that's an unusual name, wonder what country it's from? Then, oh, rolling on the floor laughing. The names your post was hilarious. Dog and Hobag lol. OMG you are so cool, OP love this. You're evil. Please be my friend. For those that are unaware, lawyers can't take on a client if they have consulted for the other party. Kinks in contracts, and more. Guess he was working on more than one kink Amy Wright or Amy Wright. I've had wet dreams of revenge towards some real douche neighbors, my idea was raw egg mixed with canned tuna, a few rounds in the food processor, and then let that run through the intake air vents of the car. I am living vicariously through your experience. You had more balls than I did, ha. Huh? Perfectly pretty. As far as your ex is concerned, you went from simping to shrimping. So what revenge did you get on your ex? Or did you just screw him financially, because that is a great way to get revenge. I'm glad he is your ex and I hope you meet somebody that is not a cheater and live happily ever after. Somebody has to say it it sounds like Dog was taking advantage of attorney-client privilege lol. Did you and Hobag's ex-husband ever hook up? This was like a Comedy Central roast. Rolling on the floor laughing weary face. How did you get your financial ducks in a row? 
So by consulting every good attorney in town you've made it so he won't be able to hire any of them, correct? This entire story smells fishy. But why would someone go on the internet and lie? That's just deplorable. I wish, Mr. No Effort Asswipe, I wish it were. Nice. Milk is so much easier and you can just pour it in. Smell never comes out. I like the part about having meetings with every good lawyer so now they can't represent the spouses lol. I hope you all went nuclear on them during the divorces. Wait, how did you explain the shrimp death smell if you played it cool and didn't call out the divorce right away? I love it, but only revenge on her minivan? Nothing for dog. Fried shrimp skull. She was never your friend and take all his money. I like it. Very smart of you and wonderful you both waited until you were situated. So sorry to hear this scenario happen to you and all the kids involved. Nice go with the potion though. I did something similar to a football jock who used to hit his girlfriend. I put sardines in his intake vents because I thought that was a pretty dickish thing to do. He never found out that I was the one who did it. He also became a cop shortly after high school. Shocking. I know. I think I probably better leave the the rum alone for a bit lol. Let's call her hobag. Yes, let's, lol. I feel connected with you on so many levels right now. I smell BS. I mean, shrimp. Their trashy couple name is Hot Dog. Wins in this post. One, ho bag and dog. Rolling on the floor laughing, rolling on the floor laughing, rolling on the floor laughing him on the floor. Two, the potion. That would have been hell. Which they deserve. Three, you talking to the lawyers and being efficient before serving them just awesome things. 4. Ho bag and dog rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing I am still laughing okay. But serious talk, I hope you and ho bag's ex-husband get the support you need, while you exacted amazing revenge, this won't take away the trauma and betrayal. All the best, OP. Did something similar in high school, my best friend slept w my bf for 9 months before I found out so I poured milk all in the fabric seats and floor of the brand new jeep wrangler her dad rented for her. Wrapped the bitch in saran wrap too it was morning of school on a super hot August day car incubated for 8 hours, they got extremely fucked. Usually having consultations with a whole bunch of lawyers to prevent your spouse from finding one gets a really nasty reaction from the judge, but okay. Why give them ridiculous names if then you're not gonna use them on the rest of the text? So your ex-husband was a bounty hunter? You'd think one lawyer would be enough, I call BS. Tired dogs don't hunt. Pretty simple. Until we'd each had consultations with every good lawyer in our city. If this story didn't end with and the judge laid the fucking hammer down when this obvious tactic came to light then this is just a creative writing exercise. Source lawyer. You sound like the coolest person ever lol good job, his loss. This reads like a letter to the editor in an old school smut magazine. All that's missing is her hooking up with the other guy and living happily every after. Fake. Sounds like a fun creative writing exercise you had there. Genius. You should report her to the bar. Lawyers can't date have sex with clients and can be disbarred potentially for it. This is so fake lol. If you vandalized the fuck out of their car I doubt that's the last you heard from her about it, and judges tend to dislike people intentionally consulting lawyers to keep them from their ex. You all sound lovely. What if he lied to you about hiring a private investigator just to get back at his ex? Pro tip, easy peasy with the world's smelliest stuff. Buy a bottle of Thai fish sauce in an Asian market. Pour a few drops into front vents under windshield or just a few drops squirted in window with a squirt gun. Brutal stinky snatch game on.